Here I am with my new best friend, Sabrina. Sabrina is an 11 year old German Shepherd that was actually being trained as a guide dog when she was younger. She's not guiding anyone now, but she's giving a lot of hugs and kisses, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Anyway, we're going to talk today about excessive barking. So, if your neighbor's dog is driving you crazy, or perhaps your dog's driving you crazy, don't go anywhere. Listen up. Right, Sabrina? Okay, so is there anything more annoying than waking up to the sound of your next door neighbor's dog barking 24 hours, seven days a week? Or maybe it's not your neighbor's dog, maybe it's your dog. Let's talk a little bit about barking. Why do dogs bark in the first place? It's their way of communicating. And very often what happens, the dog is barking to let you know something is going on or to ask your opinion about something. And what do you do? The first thing you do is say, shut up, knock it off, you're barking too much. Let me tell you how I handle barking. My own dog will bark at the front door and I'll go and I'll say, Skylar, thank you for letting me know someone's there, but that's enough now we can go in the backyard and play. So I praise him for what he's doing because what he's doing is right, but then I let him know that that's enough, there's no need to bark anymore. What is the main reason? What causes excessive barking in dogs? There's a couple of different things. First of all, lack of exercise is probably the biggest reason. Let's face it, we live in a latchkey pet society. What does that mean? It means that our dogs are home eight hours a day by themselves, throwing an hour for Walmart, that's nine hours a day, our dogs have nothing to do. So what they start to do is one dog in the neighborhood barks, the other dogs in the neighborhood pick up on it, and it becomes kind of a chorus of dogs barking. The other thing that causes excessive barking is boredom. Let's face it, your dog is home by himself, but it could be interesting if you took the time to make the house interesting. I remember years ago, I was working with a dog on Fifth Avenue in New York City. I'm not going to tell you the name of the person, but it was a very famous person. It was a Lhasa Apso, lived in a really, really expensive building and the bottom line was the neighbors were complaining about the dog's constant barking. She called trainers and she called veterinarians and they said well if the dog's barking just tell the dog to shut up. I went in there and I said to myself you know dogs are part of the family. How about taking the time to figure out why the dog is barking rather than just telling the dog to shut up why is the dog barking? Well, what I did, and this may sound eccentric, and heaven forbid I should sound eccentric, but I got down on all fours and I crawled around the house. Actually, it was an apartment. And I was bored after five minutes. And I said to the woman, you know, this dog has nothing to do but stay at home and watch General Hospital 12 hours a day. I would be barking too. So what I did is I changed the environment. I made her go out and buy dozens of toys and I had her rotate the toys every other day. And I had her introduce new toys on a regular basis. I also had her leave a talk radio on constantly. This was even a more severe case than that. The radio wasn't working. So I actually had the family make a tape recording of the family's typical conversation over dinner, and every once in a while, I just had them drop the word in, no. After a week or so, the barking dissipated entirely, and the dog was fine. It's not always that easy, though. Let me give you some tips for correcting excessive barking. If you know your dog is getting enough exercise, if you know your dog is mentally stimulated, what are the other reasons the dog is barking? Is there something he's hearing in the backyard that you're not hearing? Remember, a dog's sense of hearing is many, many times better than ours, and that is exactly the reason when my dog barks, I react. I trust his instincts much more than I would trust my own instincts. So one more thing I want to tell you about barking. Give you some procedures to quell your dog's excessive barking a little bit. First of all, let's define what is excessive barking. Five minutes at the front door, 10 minutes in the backyard. No, that's not excessive barking. That's what the dog should be doing. But there are some things that you can do. Some of the things I recommend, for example, if the dog is barking excessively, and recently I worked with a dog that, that only barked excessively when he was in the car, which drove the driver crazy. So what I did is I went for a ride with them. I went to the supermarket and I picked up one of those plastic squeeze lemons. And when the dog was barking excessively, I put a drop on his tongue in conjunction with the word no, he associated the bitter taste and the barking actually stopped. Other things you can do is use a noise to prevent barking. Sometimes those cans with the pennies you hear about work. I prefer a little air horn because this way the dog has no idea where that noise is coming from. Now there are extreme cases. There are cases where the dog is barking to the point where it's a matter of either I can stop the barking or they're going to give up the dog. And in those cases you really, really have to be creative. I remember uh, both in New York City and LA with excessive of bark is 
going into someone's home when they were gone and hiding in their closet or hiding on a fire escape waiting for the dog to bark so I can actually catch the dog in the act of barking. That made all the difference in the world. The other thing that's real important to understand about a dog's excessive barking is the different sounds of the bark. I actually make tape recordings of my dogs at different times so I can differentiate when my dog is barking because he's happy. I know when my dog is barking because he might need more exercise or when he's bored. It's real important for good pet guardians to pick up on those things. So here's the bottom line. Remember this. Dogs bark for a reason. It's very rare a dog's going to bark for no reason unless they're bored or not getting enough exercise. That's your responsibility. Training, good basic obedience training, what does that have to do with barking? It gives you a positive way to communicate with your dog. So here's the story. If you have a dog that's barking excessively, rather than just telling the dog to shut up and stop it, how about taking the time to analyze why the dog is barking? Is he lonely? Is he bored? Is he frustrated? Is he not getting enough exercise? What's causing the dog to bark? Once you know that, the resolution to it's really really easy so I say let your dogs bark to a limit if it becomes excessive follow the methods I just gave you and everyone will be happy